Nicholas Coronado from Kimball High School. Coronado completed 23 passes, racking up 350 yards. Hi, I'm Nicholas Coronado. I'm from Tracy, California. I go to Kimball High School and I play quarterback. Uh, I got my start in football was talking to my family and watching football on TV. Watching those guys, I uh, gained passion and a love for the game. So I asked my parents, you know, could I play football? And they let me play at the age of seven and I never looked back. But what I love most about the game is that I can impact the youth and have kids look up to me as a role model. And just being on the field with uh, teammates and gaining a brotherhood on the field, you know, that's, that's what I love most about the game. Uh, my coach, his name is Latif Grimm and his coaching style is he's going to push you mentally on and off the field. He's going to text you, he's going to call you when you're at home, asking you about the team you're playing. And on the field, the guy is just going to push you until you, you, you want to be great. And if you don't have a you want to be great mentality, uh, you're just going to struggle with him as your coach. The most important thing my coach has taught me is probably to keep my head straight when things aren't going our way. Uh, adversity is part of life and the game. So if you get over the adversity, then you can do whatever you want in life. So far this season, what I've learned about myself is probably the leader I've become over time. I was able to uh, play varsity for three years. This is my third year this year. So to help out the young guys and like a backup quarterback, my young quarterback, I want to put him in the system for next year so he can run the show. So being able to play for three years and kind of teach everybody something that I've learned over the years with the older players I played with, um, that's just kind of the leadership role that I want to take and kind of want to lead, uh, take that with me when I go to college. I say my biggest influence is probably my mom. I say this because she works at home. My dad works in the city, and my mom is running around four kids. My brother is uh, in college now, so she's running around three kids. But she doesn't complain when she's running us around. So, you know, that's why I play football. I want to make it for her, and you know, put her in a comfortable position where she doesn't have to worry about anything. But the best moment of my high school football career is probably the win over Oakdale this past uh, this season. Uh, I had just had a good game, you know, I had, uh, I think, six touchdowns, but the best moment was probably the final touchdown I threw to our wide receiver. I rolled out to the left, and when I went through the touchdown, I knew, you know, we sealed the deal and got the win. My plans after high school is to go to college. I hope to play football in college, but my first thing I want to do is get my education, and I want to go into the medical field, like a sports therapist or athletic trainer. Uh, I see myself in 10 years, hopefully in the NFL, after I go to college but um, definitely working somewhere in the medical field and to have a family and you know have some kids and provide for them. I would like to shout out my parents, you know, they do everything for me since I was a baby. And they brought me into this world and taught my dad, taught me football, my mom, she's always taught me how to be a leader on and off the field. So I, my parents definitely uh, shout out my sisters, you know, they're younger than me. Hopefully they can look up to me as a role model and I hope they just push and don't let anybody stop them. Uh, shout out my older brother, he's always taught me to do great things in school and school will get me far as education wise and he's always taught me don't let anybody tell you you can't do something and you always push to be the best and shout out my coaches my teammates and my grandparents you know they've always been there for me always been on my games they've always gone to war with me and helped me on on and off the field so those are the people i would like to shout out